blockchains are good for a few use cases that cannot inherently be centralized. In this list is banking, which we've seen the evolution of that come on over the last few years. But we also have transportation and we have telecom. And the reason those use cases are uniquely fit to use a blockchain is the guarantees that it provides. So first thing is obviously security. If it can handle banking, that means it can secure, basically secure enough for all the other use cases. The second part that's very important is the life cycle and the traceability. So a car is an asset that basically is you know created, gets sold, gets driven, gets resold, gets serviced. All this information today is held by everybody except the car owner. And with the digital primitives we have on a ledger, we can give the entire ownership of this asset, including its history, to the owner. The last part, and I think it's kind of an important note, transportation is um, translucent, right? Um, it, everybody knows where everyone's cars are around them, but it's not okay when it's, uh, when, when it's too easy to look people up. Blockchain with, its, with you know, cryptography provides just enough abstraction to where if you know what you're looking for, you can find what you're looking for, and it can handle every use case from you know, just sharing a car with a person to one car checking another car. But at the same time, um, all, all the privacy is protected. The last one, probably most important one, is the integration pattern. In the, world, in the Web2 world, you have 140 car companies. If you were to try and build a self-driving car, you would have to have 140 car brands integrate with 140 car brands. That is a problem that would take us hundreds of years to solve. A better, better option that I would like to propose is we integrate into a common layer where everybody can customize the solution to their needs, but at the same time, it's interoperable with all the other brands.